There is no what if. I am pregnant. And it is Jesus. Pause. You know what I don't get? I understand that the entertainment industry is slowly, you know, running out of ideas until they utterly just disappear into oblivion. Y'all just gonna continue to keep making these disrespectful ass episodes. First off, in the description, it says that she's 19. Therefore, supposedly, I'm assuming that we're the same age because hello, I'm 19 as well. Happy this kid, child, I'm not even gonna call her a girl, you know, assuming that again, and she's 19 because what kind of bullshit is this? Now I already know it's gonna be some haters or some people in the comments who say like, why are you complaining over something like this? Like it's Dr. Phil, even if it is fake, it's meant to be entertainment. I get that, it's just this shit's not entertaining. And then again, there will be some people who be like, well, why do you wanna watch it then? Because I want entertainment, but I just don't find this shit funny. She claims to be pregnant with baby Jesus, but last time I checked, Jesus already apparently exists. So where the hell is your statement going? I'm nine months pregnant. Pause, you're nine, what? You're nine months pregnant? This picture does not look like you're nine months pregnant. It definitely looks like you shoved two pounds of ho-hos down your throat. My family. I bet you $20 right now she's sitting there thinking. Hmm, well I know I'm getting paid for this episode. My family, my friends, my pastors at church, they don't believe that I'm pregnant. You wanna know why your pastor and your mother and your lovely family members don't believe you're pregnant, sweetheart? Because you're not pregnant, shut, shut the hell up. I'm not stupid, I'm not crazy, I'm tired of playing these games and it's about to be over with. And then you wanna hop on TV talking about, I'm not crazy, I'm not stupid, I just believe that. First off, you crazy as hell, get that straight. Secondly, you must be stupid, You like you stupid as hell too because who in their right mind would honestly think, not only that you're pregnant, because again, some people might, you know, have a oops moment where they just, you know, oh my God, baby, that ain't my fault. It's the fact that you wanna put Jesus into it. I and honestly, the right-minded person might think like, oh, you know, this might be clickbait. But no, click on the video and you gonna hear her hopping on talking about some, hey guys, look at me, I'm pregnant. With baby Jesus. Not only that, they had the nerve to put the comments on disabled as well because they probably knew for a fact that someone was gonna mess around and put her ass on blast. Grow up. Nobody wanna hear that shit. Yo stomach hurt or something? Take an Advil and call it a night. I'm sick of hearing your mouth. You're not pregnant, stop claiming that. Like this is honestly out of control. Y'all gonna have to write some better scripts. I don't know who be writing Dr. Phil episodes, but step it up. Dr. Phil, you a doctor, so please talk some more sense into these kids instead of asking them these basic ass questions like, well, when did you and your mother start fighting? Well, when did you and your brother start fighting? Well, when did your house get robbed? Well, when did your son start beating the shit out of you? So when did your nine year old get pregnant? So when did your baby kill the dog? Like, I'm, I'm tired of hearing all that dumb shit. Step the scripts up. That's my only request, because at this point, this child over here out of control, making somebody like me look bad over here, grown as hell 19 years old talking about <laughs> baby jesus shut the hell up Ooh, that honestly makes me so upset now days away from giving birth you're not giving birth you're fat face it you're fat this this has nothing to do with body shaming or me bullying her because first off we're the same age i'm gonna give it to you straight you're fat either that or you just you have a talent of sticking your belly out further than what it normally should be like you gonna mess around we could be best friends yeah. Do you want that? Why did you get on the show? That's what I want to know. Why are you on the show? Because at this point, it's it's not entertaining. It's sarcastic as hell and it's ignorant as hell. The way I see it. So let's smack that belly into place. Give it a little smack smackity smack tap tap because I don't I don't see where this is going. One of my biggest temptations is wanting to whack you across the head. Who are you getting mad at? You're the one who claims you're pregnant with Jesus. How do you sound? R read the Bible. I'm pretty sure he's written in there somewhere. I don't care if my family disowns me. It really comes down to if you're a true believer in Jesus or not. If you a true believer in Jesus, you would know that Jesus is alive and well. Oh, I don't care that my family disowns me. Let me know when that Dr. Phil episode comes out because I will surely be glad to watch it with popcorn. You have gained at least 22 pounds. You you gained 22 pounds by eating. It happens. Um, I don't know when you're gonna stop. Again, this video has nothing to do with putting down others or body shaming, but she's clearly in denial and needs personal help, not a Dr. Phil episode that will soon go viral on the internet. Oh, whoops. 4.6 million views, mistake already happened. There is no what if, I am pregnant.
And it is Jesus. Yeah, more, moral of this, she she a liar. Don't be fooled by all of this. Uh, at the end of the day, I would most likely want this video to be some type of awareness, although I did put some type of comedy reel in there because I don't want it to be dry. Who do I look like? I'm not Dr. Phil, so don't turn to me for that information. But no, that pretty much wraps this up. Um, I'm only forcing myself to watch it because at the end of the day, they kind of are entertaining. I would recommend watching them too, but not to be fooled by it, just to watch people embarrass themselves on national television. So ha have fun with that. But no, I truly do hope that everyone enjoys this or whatever, or understands my point of why I feel so negative towards these goofy ass episodes. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, all that good stuff. Subscribe if you want. I would recommend doing so though, because like, why not? Like, just do it. And yeah, that pretty much wraps up this video. Um, don't be fooled by the internet and reality TV and all that goofiness. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, until my next video, bye. Oh,